Hi, this is William T. Kendall, and welcome to my reflection of what I'm calling the Education Tech Equity Paradox. So in the current digital age, students often understand technology, even innately, many would contend, but they don't always have access to it. Whereas teachers, they often have all the access in the world to technology, but don't really understand it, certainly not to the level of their students. Let me illuminate this paradox in tech equity with a personal experience. In early 2008, working in my first full-time position out of college, I was given the opportunity to offer technical assistance at a workshop. The goal of the workshop was to help teachers get more comfortable using computers, some basic software, and online resources from the Library of Congress. What on the surface seemed to be a very simple task, helping teachers with some basic skills, turned out to really be one of the most eye-opening experiences of probably my entire professional life. As I was scanning the room, I noticed one teacher in particular who was having real noticeable trouble coordinating sort of her entire and desired intentions with what she was getting as far as results on her computer screen. And as I moved closer, I immediately realized that really to no fault of her own, she was holding the mouse upside down. For her, down was up and, and up was down, which was making things pretty tricky. When I attempted to correct her by simply turning it around, I quickly realized that she had always used it this way, and simply turning it wasn't really going to help her situation. She sh simply hadn't grown up with these devices, and their use really just didn't come naturally to her. It really seemed comical at the time, and even for a, a week or two following, but in time this single event illuminated a much deeper issue to me what I'm calling the education tech equity paradox, which I imagined could potentially even get worse before getting better. So from that moment, I decided to focus my professional attention on understanding what factors were contributing to this inequity and doing what I could to be a part of a more balanced future regarding technology in education. So what started as a fleeting moment of, of humor actually really became one of the most important catalysts driving me to pursue my passion with education and technology. So I'm certainly still learning and exploring the complexities of this issue. What are the contributing factors? Uh, how do we get technology equally distributed into the hands of students? Uh, how do we train and support teachers in using this technology? But really I'd say most importantly what can education technologists do to make for a better tomorrow for teachers and students alike? Thanks.